Now only on to the house in Granada Hills that made national headlines for extreme hoarding conditions is starting to fill up again. Now this is happening even after city officials cleaned up the property last spring. CBS 2's Christine Lazar was the first to report on the problem and now the neighborhood is asking for help again. Piles and piles of trash and belongings are starting to collect around this house on Bircher Street, bringing with it just the rats, rats and roaches. Raul Campos lives next door, especially at nighttime. You can see them when we're in the backyard, uh, just these big, you know, dog sized rats. We first showed you this Granada Hills home last March when neighbors were desperate for help. Drone footage showed the extent of the hoarding, both in the front and backyard. It's frustrating. It's been very frustrating. If it weren't for uh, the diligence of you, Christine, and your crew, I don't think anything would have been done in the first place. Weeks after our first story aired, the city came out and spent $12,000 hauling out dumpsters full of stuff and cleaning up the property. Since then, it just continues to get worse. They play this trick where every time they know there's a city inspection coming up, they load up U-Hauls, RVs, pickup trucks, trailers, and they take it all away. The inspection comes and goes, and the stuff all comes back. The homeowner was in court Wednesday facing a slew of code violations. Neighbor Les Claypool was also there. We showed up. We spent hours there, and by the time they got to our case, or their case, um, Mrs. Orozco was a no-show. Once again, we tried to talk to the homeowner and her son. There were people outside the property loading and unloading, but no one came to the door. City Councilman John Lee, whose district includes this area, told us that the situation here is not acceptable and that the homeowner has refused assistance when his office has offered it. Lee went on to say these residents are in need of help, but we do not have the ability to compel them to receive the assistance they need. Though adjudication of this matter lies with the courts, I will continue to seek solutions, including unconventional ones, for the adjacent neighbors who have endured this situation for far too long. The next court date is on December 2nd, and we're told that the homeowner has been ordered to appear. Residents say they'll also show up to try to tell the judge what it's like living next to this. In Granada Hills, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.